Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're looking at UUP Dump or the Unified Update Platform. Uh, this is where you can come to get early releases, beta builds, um, or I should say dev channel builds, canary channel builds, uh, things that are not general release yet. You can get these at UUP Dump for different Windows operating systems. So whether that's Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, uh, you can come on here and follow their little process and get the newest, latest, I won't say the greatest because these haven't been um, fully vetted out yet, obviously why they're in the Canary and Dev channels. But anyway, let's take a look today. So I'm interested in the newest build of Windows 11 because I'm very curious about some stuff I heard about that's going to be available in the new 24H2. So I did try to download this um, very latest one that came out today, but there's no downloads available yet. So I backed it up and I went to uh, the one that came out just a week ago. So let's click on that and then we'll click on next and guys do this at your own risk because this is not an official Microsoft website excuse me but everything that I have read up online and looked at other people's channels and things like that everyone is saying that this platform does get the uh, binaries or the source files directly from the Microsoft update servers. But again, do this at your own risk. This is not downloading downloading from a Microsoft website. All right, so I just need the Windows Pro version. So I'm going to hit Next. And then we're going to, you can choose to install the updates or include the updates. We want to download and convert it to an ISO file. Um, you, there's some other options here. If you guys want to check those, just read them and, and check them as your use case fits. And once you've got all your options selected, go ahead and click on Create Download Package. And this is going to give you a little zip file. So I'll extract that. And then once that extracts, we're going to run this uh, command file here. And I believe this is actually going to kick off a PowerShell script once it starts running. OK. Yeah, so it looks like it wants to run a PS1 file, which is a PowerShell script. So I'm just going to say run once. Looks like that's going to kick off a download. And this may take some time if it has to download all of the uh, Microsoft binaries or the packages to create an ISO from. So. I'll speed this up. We'll be back when it's done. All right, it looks like I finished there, guys. That was a very interesting process. Uh, a lot going on there within that PowerShell script that used DISM at certain points and did a lot of cool things from what it looked like anyway. So it says that it's done. Press 0 or Q to exit. All right, you know, I should have looked at that folder where it put that in, but I'm sure we can find it. Oh, it's right here in the same folder. All right, cool. So I now have the very latest build. I believe this is going to be 24H2 build 26100. Um, and I won't cover the, uh, ISO, I'm sorry, the OS itself or the build itself in this video. This video was to show you guys this cool website, UUP Dump. Again, use at your own risk. I'm not telling you that this is safe or it's not safe. I obviously believe it's safe enough for me to um, use it, but again, do your own due diligence, do your own research, try this at your own risk. I know there's a lot of people out there who already use UUP Dump, so um, you can obviously get information from them as well. All right, guys, I wanted to show you this because I thought it was very cool. Uh, again, if you're not opted into the um, developer channel or the Canary channel to like the insider program, I believe is what they call it, to get early releases, this is a very good way for you to have access to these early releases in a full ISO format. So you can just spin up a virtual machine and try this out, and that's probably what I'm going to do in a, um, a video that I'll put up hopefully really soon. And then we can kick the tires on that latest build uh, enable all the new features, take a look around, and yeah, just see whether or not we like it, uh, see if it's stable at this point, and we'll go from there. But let me know, do you guys use UUP Dump? Is this the first time you've heard of it? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? 
Uh, are you part of the Insider Program? Do you take part in either the Dev or Canary channels? Let me know what you guys think. Maybe this is the first time you're seeing it and you want to check it out. Or maybe you just want to do some research and do it from within your Windows operating system. Opt into that Insider Program to get those early releases and early features right on your own PC. Uh, myself, I like to do it. I do a little bit of both. So I'll turn it on on my PC and then I can uh, turn off the developer options when I want. So I'm not getting every latest feature on my actual PC that I work on day to day. And then for this type of stuff, I'll like to spin up a virtual machine to test it out, especially when it just came out like a week ago or a day ago. So that's that's kind of my spin on it. Um, but let me know what you guys are doing. And again, let me know if you guys have seen UUP Dump. All right, guys, if you got any value out of this video, consider hitting a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, um, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. I'm, I'm shooting for 10,000 subs this year, guys, so your support is much appreciated. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Have a great day. And like I said, I'm going to have a video up soon about this newest build, so stick around. You might want to subscribe, turn on notifications, because that video is coming soon. All right, guys, take care.